So, how did this become hotter than this? When I showed this picture to my friends, many of them agreed that the bottom row of women look more attractive than the women at the top. Some of them even said that the women in the top look sicker. Now, I very well can't use my own small group of friends as a stratified sample of the entire American public, but I can say that the fact that this picture is circulating across social media, social media networks today with getting millions of likes goes to show that plenty of, plenty of people agree that the women on the bottom are more attractive. But the fact is, if this is true, why is it that so many women aspire to look like the women at the top? I'm going to come back to that. <laughs> so, in America, 3% of women have an eating disorder. That may not seem like much with 160 million women on Earth. Well, sorry, 160 women in America. There are only 8 million women in eat with an eating disorder. But think of it this way. 75% of the 97% of women without an eating disorder are trying to change the way they look by dieting or also show symptoms of an eating disorder. And the symptoms include anything just like having a negative self-image, refusing to eat or denying that one is hungry, or simply having a bad relationship with food because you feel bad about eating fattier things. So look at this graph. We have the 3% of women who have the eating disorder. With the study that was conducted just this year in September, 37% of women admitted that they skip meals in order to lose weight. 16% of women have diets that are less than 1,000 calories just to lose weight. 13% of women smoke in order to lose weight. And 9% of women do other things that may or may not be healthy just to lose weight. So that leaves us with a mere 22% of women who are actually comfortable with the way they look. When I look at this picture here, and it is a picture of anorexia awareness, it shows a woman who we can all agree is not healthy and I think we can also agree that there's nothing attractive about the way she looks but when I look at this picture the only thing that comes to mind is the fact that they use this girl as her image of what she doesn't want to be so when little girls see pictures like this they can say they definitely don't want to look like the skinny girl there because that's not healthy but also they don't want to look like the girl the skinny girl doesn't want to be but who's to say that the girl there isn't attractive her body is she may be considered overweight, but in my opinion, she looks perfectly fine. But we're telling, by advertising pictures like this, we're telling people that both of these extremes are wrong. Most women say that they feel like they should be thinner because of the, the way media portrays women and also because they think that's what men prefer. But a study also conducted in September shows that 80% of men actually prefer women who are curvy or plus size. 15% of men prefer women who are average build, and only 5% of men say that they would actually date one of the thin models who are on television. So women can't say that they choose to be so thin or go on these obsessive diets just because that's what men feel. So if the fact that men feel this way is not completely true, maybe it must be the media. Designers have said that they only choose thinner models because clothes look better on them. And we look at, sorry, fun image, just thought it was cute. <laughs> but. When we look at images of models, it shows that the clothes do look a lot better on them. So it's true, thinner models wear clothes better. But when I showed this image to my, my male friends, they all pointed out the fact that there's a gap between both women's thighs. And all the thing they wrote, all my female friends agreed the clothes look good, but the guys only thought of the fact that the thighs don't touch. So it just goes to show that men don't look out for things like this. And women in the media are only portrayed this way because they're supposed to look good in clothing. So, the only thing that shows is that women ourselves, we are the ones who are putting out, we are the ones who are sh trying to display ourselves as thin. We're the ones who made that image of ourselves. Over the last few decades, for, starting from the 1900s until now, it was women who actually advocated for the thinner image. But yet, we always say that it's men who prefer that. Starting in the 1920s, women tried to get thinner simply because they wanted to appear more like men. They wanted to show that they can have a boyish bill and do the same work that men do, because at that time, feminism was rising. And over the last few, de over the decades preceding that, I'm following that, I'm sorry, women began to get thin thicker again to show off their curves, to show that they are feminine, and they want to be beautiful and show that they're women. They are women, they are womanly, I'm sorry. But it is us who actually portrayed ourselves that who actually wanted to be thin so i leave you with this there's no image there shouldn't be no image of when did this become hotter because every woman is beautiful no matter how she feels as long as you're healthy you should be comfortable in the way that you are thank you